you ever feel like you have to be this top psychologist that knows the ins and outs of the brains and the function and how it works? Okay, in this video, we're going to simplify it so you can understand some really powerful principles so you can do better with your clients and influence yourself, which is where it all begins. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Last video we talked about the next generation of transformation mind body soul be do have okay your identity dictates your behaviors based upon your behaviors okay will result in your experiences so let's go a little bit deeper I brought up a concept okay that is very controversial which is totally fine I didn't believe it when I first heard it either okay everything starts in the mind transformation starts in the mind but the body has more influence than the mind does Okay, and so let's dive into that concept and let's talk about the conscious mind versus the subconscious mind or even the complete unconscious mind. There's three layers. Okay, we're just going to have to, uh, we're going to simplify it just to the two. Okay, um, I feel like it's important to know this and the more you know this and the more you understand it, the more you can provide influence for yourself and for your clients. Okay, so the way most people operate Okay, in their life, well, let's talk about this first. So we have our conscious, okay, and our subconscious. And even below that, um, if you're talking, uh, the father of uh, psychology, right, or what, who they say the father of psychology is, is Sigmund Freud, and he said we have three main parts. We have the conscious, the subconscious, and then we actually have this third part down here, okay, which is the complete unconscious. Okay, so I ask people, what does conscious mean? And most people say, well, you understand it, you're aware of it. Yep, what does subconscious mean? You're, it's below, sub means below, it's below, okay, be below our awareness. Okay, and unconscious is mean, it's just completely unconscious. Yeah, you experienced it. Yeah, you saw it or said it at some point in your life, but you have, I have no recollection of it and nor will you. I mean, do you remember everything that happened to you when you were six months old? Do you remember the first food? Do you remember sucking on your mom's nipple? <laughs> Sorry for the bad, uh, hopefully your kids aren't in the room, which P.S. Don't ever play my shit when your kids are in the room, okay? It's not good. Okay, they're going to learn stuff that they're not ready to learn at that point in time or hear stuff that they're not ready to hear. Okay, so we got our conscious, subconscious, and then the unconscious. And so how most people act is they act like, oh yeah, the majority of my, uh, my decisions and my behaviors in life come from my conscious. Okay, and they start to build their conscious and they start to grow these trees and they don't even really start to pay attention until it's outside and they can actually see it. And then they look at their fruit and they go, my apples are bad. My body's not the way I want. My bank account isn't as big or is not growing as big as I want. Okay, the relationships aren't what I want. And so what they do, okay, is they come to the conscious and they just go, I'm just going to think different. I'm just not going to do that. But based upon what we talked about last time, right, is it's not just what you believe, okay, it's what you do, all right? And so they're too busy cutting off here when reality, the seed is down here. So if we really want to grow new fruit or we want to help our clients grow fruit, we got to go down to the roots. We got to go down to the seed. Okay, what are the seeds we're planting? What are the what is the subconscious okay planting for the conscious? Okay, 95% of your actions come from the subconscious level. Okay, and that's being conservative because I've seen some studies say that 98, 99% of your actions come from the subconscious level. Okay, isn't that like isn't that crazy? Like, think about that for a second. Pause your body, wherever you're at right now. Pause. 
Okay, did you mean, did you consciously mean to do that with your body? Okay, most likely you didn't, you just moved based upon how you felt. The conscious is based upon logic. It's, it requires too much energy to operate your mind and body from a logic standpoint. Have you ever tried to learn something new for the first time? Like the certification, right? We're learning lots of new stuff. Okay, your logic brain is on fire, right? And a lot of, a lot of people that operate from the logic, okay, they get really tired. The body wants to be efficient. It's a human, um, it's just, a, it's something that we as humans do and all animals do. We store it in the subconscious because we become automated with it. Okay, I have a theft system on my car. Okay, it's a millennial system, millennial theft system. It's a manual, okay, it's a manual stick, right? <laughs> People are like, what the hell is that? Everything's paddle shift or automatic these days, right? I remember when I was first learning how to drive a manual, I had to require a lot of logic, okay? A lot of conscious effort, okay? Push in the clutch, okay? Pull it back, okay? Let go of the clutch, push back on the gas, okay? I remember I was on this hill in this huge truck, okay? And I had to let go of the gas, or I had to push on the gas as I'm letting go of the clutch and I kept killing it, right? But now I got to the point where it became automatic because over and over again, as I stored it in my conscious, it dropped down into the subconscious. Okay, so what we don't realize is that it's monkey see, monkey do. So with a lot of your clients, we've been programmed in the subconscious through our bodies over and over and over again, right? You ever, uh, touch something really hot, you don't go, ouch, that is hot, I should move my hand. You go, wah, like it's a reaction, okay? And most people just react in their life, okay? They behave the way that they've been behaving. They say um, a baseball player, major league baseball player, shouldn't be able to hit a fastball, okay? Traveling 95 miles per hour, okay? They say the way the conscious brain is put together, that shouldn't be possible, but how do they do it then? And they say over and over muscle memory, over and over of swinging that bat. If you're in the major leagues, you've at least swung that bat millions of times. Okay, not thousands of times, millions of times. Okay, so they become so good at reacting and automatically responding based upon a stimulus. And that's how we are in this world. Okay, what do your clients do when they get a prospective client that says, hey, I wanna do business? Okay, do they run and hide? Do they say a certain thing? Okay, one's if you're a dating coach and you're teaching your client how to approach girls. Okay, what's their natural stimulus in their subconscious to do? Run and hide? Okay, <laughs> come up with some stupid cheesy line, uh, pickup line, right? So really the goal with your clients is to find out what's in here, what's the subconscious? Okay, if you were to look at our central nervous system, which is the brain, okay, and the nervous system, which goes throughout the entire body, and if you were to break down the central nervous system, let's show a picture of it. Okay, so as you see a picture of the central nervous system, okay, you'll see it almost looks like a flower, right? It almost looks like a tree. We pay attention to the flower, don't we? Okay, we pay attention, okay, to the rose, but what really grow, grew the rose, right? It was the seed, it was the root system, and based upon the roots, okay, it created that flower, and us and our minds and bodies is a lot of the same thing. We learn things the more we experience it, the more we experience with our taste, touch, smell, okay, sound, sight, right, our different senses, Okay, and the more we sense these things, the more that that flower sprouts, the more that it learns. Okay, that's why I say the body is stronger than the mind. And the more you can get your clients experiencing things, not just learning them, not just piling information in their head and becoming a fat head that can't even move because their head's so fucking full of information. Okay, so the greatest thing that you could really help your clients is one, is actually doing it embracing behaviors, embracing new patterns. So one of the things that I really 
um, encourage you to have a part of your program because what's called a pattern interrupt. Okay, and a pattern interrupt exercise is where you have them go out into the world and do something specific, okay, that relates back to what you're trying to teach them to do. Okay, and the more you can interrupt their pattern, okay, and the subconscious and the way it likes to automate, the more likely you are to create results. Because right now, they probably have a lot of these negative seeds, okay, down here in the subconscious. Okay, and your goal is to come in and kick those out and change them to positives. And the more we can plant more positive subconscious programming within your body, the more likely you're gonna do it. And this is why some people say, oh, building a business is so hard, okay? Is because their subconscious has been programmed through their experiences, through their mindset, through their parents, through people around them to automatically do things not the right way. And then you hear other people, dude, business is easy. Making money is easy, which it can be very easy to make money, okay? All depends upon the way the subconscious is programmed, which is a combination of what we believe, the stories that go through our mind, the way we perceive ourselves, and the way we perceive ourselves has been based upon our experiences and our behaviors and our actions, okay? And then the actions of people around us. People have no clue Okay, how powerful of an influence that their family had on them growing up. Okay, my wife said she was born to be an entrepreneur, not that her parents meant to train her to be an entrepreneur. It's like when you're around the conversations, when you're seeing them do the things, when you're seeing them make business deals, talk to people, network, you automatically pick those things up. Okay, my mom uh, used to do presentations in her home for uh MLM company that she did, right? Did I not pick up on those things? I learned the gift to gab from my mom. I'd go down and sit uh, downstairs in my mom's salon and she talked to clients, right? Okay, I picked up those things. Okay, your clients pick up things and they have been and they've done it so slowly over the years that they can't consciously connect the fact that they've learned it and they automatically do these things. Okay, so your goal as a coach is to help them plant new seeds, okay, and grow new fruit in their life instead of just cut off the branch. Oh, I just need to think different, or I just need to tell myself to follow through and do it, right? Okay, you're not going to do it, all right? The unconscious is the complete unconscious, okay? Yes, you can argue that maybe there's some things in your unconscious that maybe you can tap down and find, but we need to find what's in the subconscious, and the more we can become aware and help your client become more aware, okay, the more likely you're able to create results, okay? I could talk for days about these concepts of the conscious and subconscious. I highly recommend you continue to learn about the brain and the functions, and maybe for you in the different niche that you're in, maybe it makes sense for you to learn about different parts of the brain and how it affects uh, the behavior and what you do. Okay, I, I don't know. As long as you understand these basic concepts, I feel like you're going to become real powerful. Okay, make sure you're following along in the book, guys. Um, Dr. Joe Dispenza talks some really awesome pe uh, concepts about this. I love that dude. So check him out. I've learned a lot from him as well. Tony Robbins, Brandon Bouchard, uh, Elliot Hulse is where I learned about the power of the body. Okay, and the power of training our root system, our body, okay, not necessarily just our mind, right? Okay, so uh, check those guys out. Be inspired in what you're doing, guys. Be next gen. The world needs you. Good talk.